I think when you're an advertiser, you have to realize that people don't love advertising, right? So if you're going to create something, you better create something that is entertaining, something that they enjoy. And so that was kind of the goal around this whole thing is like, how can you actually do something that people want to interact with? My name is Amanda West. I am the senior manager of advertising at Pizza Hut. My name is Dustin Califf, and I'm the president at Tool of North America. I'm Tom Hamling. I am a group creative director at GSD and Can you walk me through the aha moment when we realized that we can turn this pizza box into an AR game? When we launched our new campaign uh, featuring Craig Robinson, you know, our initial launch included him in what I would call his man cave. And, you know, it was all about him just, you know, sitting there enjoying his favorite pizza. And he was playing a video game and he was playing a Pac-Man game. It sparked an idea where we were just like, this is, this is really cool. And so the, the agency came to us and said, hey, we have this really cool idea. Um, you know, we're launching our new campaign and we're featuring Craig and we're featuring Pac-Man. What if we put this game on our box? Everybody remembers back in the day after their t-ball game or their ballet recital or whatever it was going to be, you were going to finish by going to Pizza Hut, putting your quarters up on the Pac-Man table or Galaga or Dig Dug or whatever it was. It depends on how old you are. That was kind of when we realized that like that was something that people always reminisced about. And so we wanted to bring that you know, kind of to the forefront in this. Bringing back memories from my childhood. Pizza lovers. Um, they grew up playing Pac-Man on tabletop arcade games inside a, a lo their local Pizza Hut restaurant. And we thought, how can we bring this to consumers? And that's where the idea of this box came to life. Have you ever played Pac-Man on a pizza box before? Pizza Hut is going back to the basics with a modern twist. A pizza chain launched new limited edition boxes. Each box has a QR code to scan. It then opens up an augmented reality game of Pac-Man right on the box. One of the first things we had to do was get a hold of the box manufacturer. Amanda did an amazing job of like calling them up and saying, is this even possible? We had this stencil and it had to perfectly align with the box in order to work. So I thought if we're producing over 10 million boxes, this has to work and it has to be good. You know, we looked at the ink density, we did press checks, we had to make sure the QR code scanned because that's how you access the game. Where we get brought in is, how are you gonna make this? And how are we gonna do it so that it's very simple to use for all the different types of people and, and the audience that are Pizza Hut customers? Because they have everybody who's tech savvy to people who are, you know, have, no, have a hard time using their phone. To make this as simple and as accessible as possible, we want to use web AR. We don't want to make this a mobile AR application. And I think that was the moment when we showed a, a quick prototype and sold them in on the on the level of fidelity that we could do. One of the things that Tool did that was that was awesome is we all ran tests for like a month, and you had to send in and say, I'm, "I have an iPhone 10, and this is the operating system. I have an Android 7. I have a." flip phone and this is what I like everybody had to test it and then you realize where the bugs are all these factors that quite honestly most people can't even fathom in their head because every single one of them can impact it and it can be a little daunting but it's also fun people aren't tech savvy people I'm not a super tech savvy person we made some little gifts some little like um show me gifts that show people kind of how to stand and how to hold their camera so they'd be able to get the most out of that experience and the goal um, mainly in pre-production was making sure, is it even possible for someone to get a pizza delivered and be playing Pac-Man within like five seconds of it being delivered? And the answer after working with Tool was yes. Can you tell us about the response? Consumers loved the product. Playing Pac-Man with Pizza Hut, that's right. Watching people play online and be kind of freaking out and holding their phone and not knowing what to do and challenging high scores. Like there are a lot of people posting their high scores that were great. I don't think I ever made it past level two. Uh, in the game, in the QA phase, you know, we had to make certain levels a little easier so that people could go all the way through. But I think in some cases, our clients never ever even got to experience level three and they just had to trust it works. I think I made it past the second round and then it gets pretty hard. Like those ghosts get pretty fast and they start, get, they get going a little bit and um, I got chased around and then I got, I got eaten up pretty fast. It was a really cool project all the way around and something that you know, really, really kind of help to set the tone for our brand campaign. What about your partnership with Bandai Namco? Pac-Man is a nostalgic brand, so so is Pizza Hut. So I think, honestly, I think when they heard the idea and kind of how this 
this campaign would come to life. They were very collaborative and, and definitely open to bringing us great ideas. So they truly were great partners to work with for sure. This was truly one of those partnerships where it benefited every single party. They sold more pizza, Pac-Man got exposure, Tool was able to do something that's never kind of been done on that scale before. And we were able to make an idea um, that we thought was like, yeah, I don't know if this is even possible and actually turn it into something cool.